Hi, um, this is third part. So, um, the PyCharm is installed for us, and as you can see, I just created a simple project here, which is local, not on GitHub or anywhere. Now, uh, PyCharm, what he does is, what it does is basically create this virtual environment and do stuff. Now, point is, I'm, I'm not a big fan for virtual environment. Point is, uh, sometimes you need to interact with the system settings and all, and if you need to do that you you need um, access and secondly there are there are a lot of packages which are already installed in the interpreter but virtual environment doesn't have it so it's like more lot of work but yes there are some instances where virtual environment is really cool and it's it makes more sense to use it so that is totally up to you you want to go ahead with that or not but the point is I'm, I'm not going to do it so first thing is I'm just going to kick it out the point is it may allow me to do it right now because I changed the default one but yeah you have to be sure about it so uh, go to file go to settings so it's control alt s which is a shortcut so uh, once you open any project that that virtual environment folder will be visible here so you just have to change it for that one so it will it will you have to just have to go for show all and this you will see the previous one virtual environment all you have to do is plus then you go to system interpreter select this python you have to do this one and just hit ok and once you hit ok it will say that you need uh, all that so the point is it's duplicate so I just have to cut it up because I already have one so I'll just do ok in this you have to just select again because sometimes when you remove virtual environment it will show you as a blank so make sure that you select this guy and once it's like you see there are a lot of uh, packages already there so let's check I, I did install speech recognition so is it there or not and voila it's not there okay so that is something that I have to check again <laughs> and though I install pip so speech recognition is there congratulations and uh, Mm, pip is there so congratulations again so whatever package you install from the terminal and I, I basically go it for the for the basic one for the real base interpreter not just for any virtual environments and that is how I continue doing that so this is how if you change so like it will show point Python 2.7 and 3.0 7 if you install the recent Ubuntu version basically the earlier version doesn't have 3.7 I guess they have 3.6 still so it will show both of the interpreter so you have to be very sure from whip which pip you're installing the packages and that pip is associated to which version of the Python it's it's 2.x series or it is 3.x series you have to be very sure because yeah you will mess it up otherwise so be sure with this and once you select the right interpreter we're good to go so apart from this we need this for the next uh, video I'm going to start installing OpenCV so in that OpenCV else uh, we may need to import and cross check how, how we have done it and is it working properly or not so for example if I just right click and try to create a new I have to create a new package first so it's like a test package that's all well I'll give this as for for open CV so whatever it is thing we'll do we'll do in this package for open CV that we just created it will have this init file which is default file make it as a package not just a file then we put Python 3 file so it's an open CV underscore YouTube uh, you have to be very very unique and very innovative and very thankful while creating uh, any package file because naming is a big problem so sometimes I did sometime I did a very blunt mistake the name of the file were both common and it was not functioning so I don't remember the exact but yeah from that day I have a red flag for creating the name for the files so you just you just have to do this and hit ok we're good to go the file is there and now if I do import um, so import and if I do this nothing is there right 
because I haven't installed it. So we'll leave it like this. Oh, I don't want you. So we will leave like this and we will wait till we install it. So that's all. And please spare me with the tough voice. I cannot stop an animal. Sorry. Thank you.